<laughs> what is up guys, JGP Cardistry here. Today, we're going to do a review on the Blue Blood and Redux. Um, this deck is actually very, very nice. I'm actually very excited to pick this up. If y'all are wondering, I know this is a different setup. I am out of town. I am in Austin, Texas right now. I am leaving Friday morning. So I did want to make some videos while I was out here. I did bring a few decks just so I can do reviews here. Just for the time being, I do work, you know. That way y'all guys can stay updated with everything that I'm doing, so. Now back to the review. So as you can see on the front of the box, you have this cool Chinese man with the sword because he's like leaning against the sword. And as you can see, all this artwork all around the box is all embossed, guys. So all of this is just has texture to it. The top is all detailed. I mean, look at that. The back, all embossed. This all has texture, guys. You can't really see it on camera. But in person, I mean, this thing is just so sick. Got blue blood on the top. Redux. The bottom. And the label. 52 on the side. 52 on the side. You got the double B for blue blood very very well detailed I really do want y'all to see the detail I love this blue definitely recommend this deck for any card collectors out there now to get into the cards so as soon as you open the box the top of the flap is all detailed as soon as you take the cards out you see the back Got that beautiful blue design that's also on the back of the box with that beautiful white border. I love cards with white borders. It just, man, it does it for me. So that's that with the back. And then you have the two jokers that are Siamese to each other. So you have the little sad one right here. And then you have the happy little guy right there. That's pretty cool. So you got two of those. And then of course you have the ace of spades. This Ace of Spades is so freaking sick. Like, they killed it with this Ace of Spades. The detail on the spade itself, it makes it look like it's 3D, like it's rounded. It doesn't even look like regular ink. This crown right here, it's literally around the spade. I can't, I don't know how to explain it, but it looks very, very well detailed. I will do a close up on this. So that's the Ace of Spades. And then of course you have every single pip of the cards. It is has like a shaded color. So you have like a bluish shaded tint to it. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but right here you have like a bluish tint on every single card. I don't know if you can see it on there, but you have it all the way to the ten of spades. Got that bluish, slightish blue. Looks kind of like water paint. Then of course you have the face cards. The face cards on this deck is just wow. I couldn't believe it. The aces and the face cards are just so freaking sick. So you have that queen of spades. The king of spades and i don't know what these are but i don't know if these are ad cards but you have this cool Usi dragon so i don't know if y'all know but Usi is the company that these decks are from so i've never heard of them this is the first time i heard of them i will just show that on screen closer and then of course you know you have the cards themselves the ace of diamonds the aces are so sick got that beautiful peacock the red pip are like a baby blue. Beautiful, beautiful color. Kind of reminds me of like Picasso or like some type of painting. It doesn't even remind me of like printed standard bicycle index or anything. These are handmade, hand drawn. Like they look very, very nice. Got the Jack of Diamonds right there. Got the Queen of Diamonds. I love how they shaded the color of the hair. King of Diamonds, the King of Clubs, the Queen of Clubs, Jack of Clubs with like a nice little fur coat. A little mink and then you have the ten of clubs with that bluish and that black it's like a dark blue and like a midnight blue put together like these two pips are like a little bit more blue than the rest of them so yeah and then you have the ace of clubs nice little swan so you got that the king of hearts beautiful beautiful the queen of hearts is my favorite i love her her ruffles like a ruffled dress with her beautiful hair she kind of looks like the burlesque, old school girls that dance. Jack of Hearts with the blade piercing the heart. I think that's pretty cool. This is the same character that you have on the front of the box as well. 
And then of course you have the hearts with that watercolor, baby blue, ace of hearts. So I don't know what exactly that is. I think that's an eagle. So this is the jokers that came with them. You can see, smile now, cry later on each card. So it's reversed. It's pretty cool. I love the blue on this deck. It's just so nice. And this is the card I was talking about. It's got that cool. Like the artwork is just so amazing. Look at that. Wow. I'm telling y'all guys, if y'all do not have this deck, acquire it. It is a very, very beautiful deck. But look what I mean. Like, wow. That is just, oh my God, so sick. The crown is just so well detailed. And then you have the watercolored pips. As you can see, you got that coolish tint all the way to the ten of spades and then the dope court cards. Wow. Queen of spades, the king of spades, beautiful peacock, the jack of diamonds. I mean, the detail on their clothes is just insane. The ruffles, I mean, look at that detail. Wow. Like I said, guys, if y'all do not have this deck, I suggest y'all purchase it because wow it's just such a nice deck and then the back look at that back wow. so i will do some flourishes that way y'all can see how this deck handles the handle on it is so amazing guys like i've never felt a finish like this before the stock is just you hear that stock it's not a thin deck you know it's a very sturdy deck but it also very well and compatible with your flourishes I mean it's just wow like the artwork of this deck and then the fact that it handles so well it just makes it that much of a better day so i will do some flourishes guys let's get right into the flourishes So that is it for today's video guys hopefully y'all guys enjoyed man all i can say is this deck handles beautifully i am very excited for this deck like i said i did purchase two more of these decks just to have just to keep i am gonna you know find more in the future but hopefully you know i get these two and everything goes good i mean i love this deck i just have no words for it honestly guys if y'all are into cards if y'all collect cards even if y'all want them for cardistry, I highly recommend. And if y'all are interested in this deck, I do recommend eBay. You know, just look up Blue Bloods Redux playing cards on eBay uh, or UC playing cards and you will find it. This deck is hard to find, but it is very rare to find. 2013 was the year that this was released. So finding a deck in these sealed in a good condition, it's gonna run you about almost $50. So expect that when you're buying this. I did pay about $28 for this one. And then for the next two that I bought, one of them I paid $25 and the other one I paid $22. That's just a little idea for y'all. If y'all are interested in this deck, you know, $20 plus, 
this is the type of deck that you're gonna want to pay twenty dollars trust me guys this i don't know it's just something about this deck that just makes it look so freaking amazing and in person it's just wow like i was speechless when i had gotten this deck and i will acquire more in the future even if i even get like six that's how much i like these cards i want to have like at least a brick of these just to store somewhere honestly like i said very awesome at flourishing handling uh detail is great artwork is great i give this cards a 10 out of 10 jjp cardistry we are out peace